In this video, I'm gonna be talking about channel monetization on YouTube and what you can expect when you hit that thousand subscriber mark and 4,000 watch hours. If that sounds interesting, stick around. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec. And uh, just at the end of last year, it, just in the nick of time, in fact, I hit the uh, level to get monetized on YouTube where I'd reached 1,000 subscribers uh, and had uh, I'd actually already surpassed the uh, 4,000 watch hours quite some time ago. So it was nice to, uh, to reach that level. Uh, however, <laughs> I had actually been monetized long before that and in fact monetized to the level where I could in fact fund a new studio not the actual building itself <laughs> but just a lot of the kit that went into it uh, and so I'm going to share with you my experience of uh, the actual YouTube monetization process so the different steps that I had to go through but then I'm also going to share with you how I had monetized my uh, channel long before that as well and I'll also tell you how much I made in the six and a half months that it took me to reach the uh, YouTube monetization level as well. So first of all, let's just have a little look at what we're talking about with YouTube monetization and where you can find uh, details about it. So if you uh, come into your YouTube studio, uh, you have this uh, menu down on the, uh, the left hand side. And one of the options that you've got down here is uh, monetization. Now, ordinarily, if uh, I say ordinarily, before you get monetized, uh, when you go into this section, you'll see something that looks a little bit like this. Uh, there are four different criteria that you have to have met in order to uh, become monetized. Uh, two of them are basically verification steps. So uh, you have to uh, verify your identity. And uh, the next one is make sure you've got no community strikes against you. So those hopefully should be fairly straightforward. Uh, but the next two are these uh, two little indicators here, which are little uh, little dials that uh, creep up as you get closer to the target. Uh, and as you can see, uh, as most people know, it's a thousand subscribers and also four thousand watch hours. And this needs to be within a uh, twelve month period. So. Um, that is basically what you're looking at. But then what happens when you actually get monetized? Well, uh, first of all, you will get an email notification notifying you that you have reached the required uh, threshold. Uh, and then what happens is when you go into this channel monetization section, it actually changes slightly to look something like this. Uh, now here you can see that when I took this snapshot, I had actually already completed a couple of these uh, uh, steps. But basically step one is uh, agreeing to the terms and conditions, firstly. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is to get your Google AdSense account set up. And then finally, it is to actually get reviewed. Uh, once you have done all of that and submitted your, uh, your request, uh, then you'll get uh, reviewed by YouTube and uh, ultimately get accepted or not. Let's hope you do though. <laughs> so um, first of all, this one, obviously step one, very simple. All you do is read the terms and conditions, very detailed, of course, as they are, and make sure you read all of the small print uh, and don't just click straight through it <laughs> like I did. Um, and so uh, that is just basically, as I say, terms and conditions, the usual sort of stuff. Next one is sign up for Google AdSense. Now, this can take a little while because once you've signed up for Google AdSense, you do have to verify your address and they have to send you a little passcode through uh, and various different things like this. This can take a little while. So there's nothing to stop you setting up your Google AdSense account in advance. And if you've already got an existing Google AdSense account, then you can certainly link it to that. So I've got an AdSense account that I've had for uh, well over a decade, 17 years or more. Uh, and so I just basically added my uh, the YouTube channel into that AdSense account. So in that respect, this was literally a sort of, you know, five minute job, something like that. Uh, you add it in and then it takes a little while to process, uh, but not, you know, not more than a few minutes or so. Um, or maybe an hour max. I don't know exactly what the usual processing time is, but certainly uh, it's not a big deal once you've got your AdSense account set up. So if you are heading towards the monetization target, definitely get your AdSense account set up well in advance to uh, save yourself this extra little bit of time. Then once you get to this point, it will say, uh, as you can see here, um, your uh, uh, application is being reviewed and it will be, uh, you'll, we'll email you with a decision. I'm having trouble reading here. <laughs> and it was usually within a month. So I clicked on this expecting to, uh, having submitted my AdSense account, uh, I expected, you know, well, I'll wait. Maybe it'll be uh, a few days. Maybe it'll be a few weeks. Who knows? In actual fact, for me, it took around about 
four or five hours, something like that. So it was really very quick. Uh, and then I got an email and uh, when I went into my YouTube studio, uh, I got this little notification just sitting up at the top in my uh, dashboard in YouTube studio. Uh, and look at that, just in the nick of time, December the 31st, 9.03 p.m. <laughs> so just got it in before the new year, which I was quite pleased about because actually when I set up my channel, uh, I did sort of have this idea in my head that I would like to reach this level by the end of the year. I didn't set it as a goal because there's no point setting a goal for something that you are not, not actually fully in control of because try as I might, I couldn't force people to subscribe. <laughs> so I didn't have it as a goal, but it was a kind of like target in the back of my head that I would like to, uh, a nice to have sort of thing. So I was quite pleased to have reached that level. So then when you click learn more, it will take you through to this page. Uh, congratulations on getting monetized uh, and get started. Uh, and so from there, you click on that button uh, and then it will take you to this page where there is a bit more information about the uh, how to monetize your videos and a bit more about the, uh, the program. And from here, you can click on this uh, turn on ads. And then from there, it will basically give you some options as to which type of ads you want. Now, I basically just left all of these checked because I thought, well, maybe it's going to, uh, uh, maybe I get to choose a little bit later exactly where I want them and so on. So I did just leave them all checked and I didn't want to leave anything off. Uh, and then there is this uh, next page. So once you click on next, it will take you to this one where it's a little bit more information, another little video. Which videos do you want to monetize? Uh, all of my existing videos was my answer. And then click on monetize all. Now what that did is basically turned on all of those ad types for all of my videos. Not necessarily exactly what I wanted actually, because I don't want to bombard people with ads at every single juncture and you know all different ad types and so on. But that is what it is done as a default to start with. Uh, and so I will be going back and sort of removing some of them because I don't want to be too aggressive. I don't want it to be an annoyance that people are watching ads on my videos. Uh, so I've got to figure out how to, how's the best way to do that and which are the best ads to leave. But what I thought I would do was actually just leave them running like that for a week uh, because you do get some stats in terms of uh, where the uh, the monetization is coming from, which ads are performing and so on. So I thought, well, if I leave it for a week, then it will be a nice little experiment. So apologies if it is a bit annoying for the next week, but I will share with you all of the details of how it's all going. In fact, I can show you right now the sort of difference uh, that it is made with the uh, YouTube studio. So if I go back into my, this is my regular account now. And uh, what you can see here is if I go down to the monetization tab, which is where you'd expect to find the monetization information. Uh, this is actually now just sort of information about uh, monetization. And then if I go into memberships, so it does allow me to add memberships to my channel. So if I want to have, uh, uh, if people want to join on a monthly basis and have a monthly payment going through, then they can do that there. I haven't set anything up for that yet because I'm not really sure at the moment about how I would want to do that or the sort of content I would want to create. So I'm leaving that alone for the moment. Uh, however, you also do have uh, super chats. So uh, I was very fortunate <laughs> to have uh, two lovely people give me a super chat on my uh, first official live stream uh, having passed this mark so uh, thank you Paul thank you Rob much appreciated <laughs> it was quite a nice little thing I've just got to now figure out a, uh, uh, a way using probably stream elements to have a nice little notification that pops up on screen when people do that during my live streams but you can find all the information about super chats and so on in uh, in this section but for the monetization of the ad revenue then actually where you want to go is to the analytics section so if I uh, come into analytics, uh, then previously we had all of these different figures here, uh, overview, reach, engagement, audience. Well, now we've got a little revenue field as well. Uh, and it also appears in this chart. So before this chart just simply had the views, <coughs> beg your pardon, had the views, the watch time and the number of subscribers uh, in that period. Um, but then now we've also got the uh, ad revenue here as well. And then to dig in deeper into this, all we need to do is either click on the graph, so that will just obviously plot this out over time. Uh, but also, if we go into this menu at the top, then it will give us, <coughs> excuse me, a breakdown of uh, of the revenue. Uh, this is literally what day are we on now? Fifth of January, so it's literally only sort of five days worth. Um, but you can see here the uh, the the sort of 
progress of the revenue. It does combine the super chats with the ad revenue. So hence the sort of spike. <laughs> yeah, once again, thank you very much, Rob and Paul. <laughs> um, and so that is how, how this works. You can see also the top earnings by uh, video. So it does sort of rank them in order. Um, so this is the one where I got the super chat. Incidentally, the, uh, the super chats that come in, obviously uh, the amount that is shown on screen is the amount that has been uh, uh, pledged, donated, uh, given by the uh, the lovely people <laughs> that make these super chats. But then, obviously, YouTube take their cut out of that before it it uh, reaches you. Uh, and so, the uh, the amount that's shown here is the amount that's actually reaching you. So, we'll come to a bit of a better be breakdown of that uh, shortly. But basically, that's why this video has the uh, much higher uh, revenue on it. Uh, but then if you look at all of these others, uh, so this is my sort of top performing video so far, $1.20, uh, and then 78 cents, 70 cents, and uh, 55 cents. And again, this is after basically, uh, I suppose, four days, because it would be delayed slightly. As you know, I'm in the future here, so <laughs> it's still working on US time, I think. Anyway, it does sort of, it's not a, a live figure, it sort of updates daily, uh, this one seems to. So um, what you can also see here, though, is the, um, uh, let me have a little look. In fact, it is updating based on the US time because look at that. This is showing December revenue, whereas for me, it was actually New Year's Day that I did my live stream, but that has come in on uh, December the 31st. So <laughs> it is working on, uh, on on YouTube time, not uh, future time. <laughs> so also what you can see here, though, is the, uh, the ad types that uh, the revenue has come from. So uh, the skippable video ads is the primary source and uh, those are definitely the sort of ads that I want to be showing on my channel if at all because uh, yeah we don't want to be uh, forcing people to sit through adverts or at least I don't. <laughs> then you can see non-skippable video ads is 2.4%. Uh, um, bumper ads and display ads so those are the ones that sort of lay over the top of the uh, the video uh, and those are even uh, even lower sort of percentage of revenue so uh, i'm probably going to be just reverting or i say reverting i'm probably going to be changing so that all ads are just skippable and then having a little look at where those fit in so that uh, i don't want to make you sit through ads if you're not interested in them <laughs> um and so if i come down here we've also over on this side, uh, do you know what? This is the first time my uh, my Pro Mouse isn't working. Just bear with me one second while I get this so that I can uh, <laughs> show you what's going on. Not quite sure why that's happened. One second. Uh, let me put that on. There we go. That's a bit better. <laughs> we can see now. Um, so down at the bottom here, you can see, in fact, let me just zoom in this a little bit. Uh, down at the bottom, you can see uh, the different revenue sources. And this is basically splitting out between the uh, transactional revenue. So that is things like Super Chats. Uh, and then the estimated ad, ad revenue for the period. Uh, and that is from uh, ads, obviously. Um, but then you can see this one down here, which is for YouTube premium revenue. So people who are on YouTube premium and watching your videos, uh, the creator, in this case me, does get a cut of that um of that subscription. So when you are paying the uh, $25, whatever it is for YouTube premium, uh, that is going to basically pay for the uh, the creators as well. So uh, it's good to know that uh, it's not all going in YouTube's pockets. <laughs> so that is a nice little uh, sort of breakdown of the, uh, the different sources. Uh, and then here, yes, you can see the uh, difference between super stickers and super chat. So that's sort of broken down into those two there as well. You can also see on a, uh, a video level, so if we were to go into, whoops, a daisy, wrong button. If I go into my content and then pick any one of these videos, I'll just take the top one. In the, uh, the analytics section here, uh, not the editor. <laughs> uh, one second, where's it gone? Clicking in the wrong things here. Uh, we want to go into the uh, the analytics. There we go. Uh, and here you can see the uh, the revenue again. And so this is now down to the video level. You can see where all of the uh, the, the revenue has come from at the video level. Uh, there is also the monetization section, and this is where you're going to choose actually which ads run. Uh, 
uh, in the uh, in the particular video. So uh, I'm going to be digging into this in a lot more detail and I will uh, share with you my findings. Uh, I would love to get any feedback on any experiences you've had on my channel with uh, ads up to date, <laughs> up to, to now in the first sort of four or five days of the year. Uh, let me know if any of them have been exceptionally annoying in inopportune places and things like that uh, because as I say I am going to sort of go and clear it all out in the next uh, uh, after next week after my next live stream basically so that is where I'm up to with monetization on the channel as far as YouTube is concerned but I do want to just share with you the ways that I have already been monetizing my channel because you certainly don't have to wait uh, until uh, YouTube starts uh, starts sending you cash because as you can see it's not really that much anyway <laughs> i mean it's only cents and dollars at the moment a few dollars on the uh, the videos so obviously as my channel grows and as my number of subscribers grows then those figures will grow uh, but for the time being it's certainly um uh, certainly not necessarily uh, covering all of the uh, the costs and things like that. But as I mentioned at the beginning, I have actually managed to, you know, completely uh, renovate this studio space with uh, the revenue that I've had so far from the channel activities. And the first way that I monetized the channel was through Buy Me A Coffee. Yes, before I even made my first video, I'd already set up my Buy Me A Coffee page. I'll leave a link for you to set up your Buy Me A Coffee page in the description. Uh, and you can also just go and check out my page. So it is... <laughs> buymeacoffee.com slash take one tech uh, and over here basically people can go and just buy a single coffee uh, you can call this what you want by the way if you were uh, if you are a wine drinker you could change it to buy me a wine <laughs> the url is still the same but you could change this here to be whatever you want uh, and it's basically just in multiples of five so one coffee three coffees five coffees uh, or you can go and specify however many you want there and um, yeah, that is just a way that people can support the channel on a one-off basis. So if there's anything that you found particularly interesting on the channel or useful, uh, then that's a great way to uh, show support. Uh, you can also sign up to a membership level where basically uh, I've set two levels. As the creator, you can actually set multiple different levels of uh, whatever values you want. So I've just got two levels, a $5 a month or $10 a month. Uh, so that's a great way to uh, support the channel. Uh, or if you uh, want to uh, go to a completely different level, then there is one that is just for people who are really serious about uh, getting better in their tech life and want to have uh, regular calls and things like that. But all the details are on my Buy Me A Coffee page. Um, I have done a whole video all about Buy Me A Coffee, so I won't just go over that all, uh, but I did just want to mention it here because it is uh, something that is has been instrumental in monetizing the channel also on here people can book a call with me uh, if they want to have any help with any of their tech issues with any of the sort of stuff that I cover on the channel or anything else that they think that I may be able to help them with based on my uh, my background and things that I've been uh, talking about so you can uh, book a call here and if you are a uh, $10 a month member uh, you can also get a discount on those calls as well so as I say this has been sort of instrumental in me uh, monetizing the channel now another way that I've monetized the channel is through uh, as you may have uh, heard me mentioning before is things like my icon packs and uh, downloads so uh, uh, if I go over to uh, my website, takeonetech.io, then you can go over to the store here. Uh, and then from the store, you can basically go and have a look at some of my icon packs. So at the moment, it's all basically uh, Stream Deck or uh, also uh, Loop Deck icon packs. So these work just as well for uh, both of those. Uh, although with the uh, Stream Deck, I have actually set it up for most of them so that you get the actual icons themselves as images, but then also you get the download for the Stream Deck profiles that you can just load them straight in. And I've got a few in there. I've got one which is for YouTube player. So basically you can control YouTube while it's running in the background um, on, your, on your desktop. So let's say for example, you're watching a YouTube tutorial I don't know which kind of YouTube tutorials you may be watching, perhaps this channel. Uh, and you're also working on the application that, uh, say, I'm talking about. And you want to be able to pause and play and stop and skip the, uh, the, the YouTube video that's kind of playing in the browser in the background. Uh, this icon pack would allow you to do that. So it works between uh, this and Keyboard Maestro to basically control the YouTube player in the browser in the background. So there's that one. There's also my Ecamm Live pack that I use. Uh, so this is all the icons that I use for making these streams, actually, and these uh, videos. Uh, I've got another one for um, Keynote. So when I'm doing building overlays and graphics and things like that in Keynote, then these are all the shortcuts to allow me to uh, do that a lot more efficiently. Uh, I've also got one for Zoom. Of course, I have uh, with my Zoom Masterclass coming up. 
I'd be remiss not to mention that, zoommasterclass.com <laughs> to uh, sign up for my uh, early bird offer. It was supposed to launch on the 1st of January, but to be honest with you, Christmas got in the way a little bit. Funny how that happens. So uh, it's been delayed by uh, 10 days. <laughs> so, uh, But in any case, this Zoom pack allows you to control Zoom from the, uh, the Stream Deck uh, and just help your meetings run a lot smoother. So Usually with these packs as well, when you do click on them, I'll link through to the video where I explain all about how to uh, how to use them and how to install them. Uh, I've got another one for my Pro Mouse, which is the thing that I'm using right now to demonstrate <laughs> this uh, this uh, screen share. Um, and then I've got another general one with uh, loads of icons in there, just 3,000 general icons. In fact, let me be clear, it is 150 icons in 20 different colors. <laughs> I do make that clear on the... Uh, the the uh, purchasing page though but uh, uh, yeah it's just a selection of uh, random icons that you may wish to use and then finally I've got my uh, Stream Deck calculator. Now I have been selling quite a few of these icon packs so uh, they vary between uh, $2 for these small packs here uh, and then these more specific ones are $10 a pack. Uh, so uh, yeah I have been able to sell quite a few of those that has helped me to uh, monetize the channel as well. Finally, I should uh, also mention uh, affiliates because obviously I do have affiliate links. Uh, one of the affiliates links I have is, of course, TubeBuddy. So uh, TubeBuddy is what I use to uh, basically manage my YouTube channel. And it really helps with, um, certainly in the very beginning, it really helped me just figure out exactly what I needed to do. Um, but now it's kind of like acts as my sort of coach and checklist as I'm going through uploading videos, making sure I've done all of the right things. Uh, but then also, the advanced features that you get with the um, uh, the higher level of the TubeBuddy membership allows you to do things like find and replace. So going in and adding in lots more information into my uh, descriptions and so on was one thing that I was able to do with it. Uh, and so, yeah, I do find it uh, really useful. So to get your free trial, head over to takeonetech.io slash TubeBuddy. And uh, in doing so, not only will you be helping your channel, but you'll also be helping me out because this is one of the affiliate programs that I signed up for and is one of the ways that I monetize my YouTube channel. I'll also just mention the other ones <laughs> since we are here. Uh, don't forget, of course, that I make all of my videos with Ecamm Live, the only real uh, live production environment for the Mac that are worth considering. There are others. I've tried them, <laughs> but they've got nothing on Ecamm Live. So head over to takeonetech.io slash Ecamm for your free trial of that. And whilst we're talking about monetization, uh, Epidemic Sound is where I get all of my sound for my uh, uh, music and sound effects for my channel not that I have many sound effects actually maybe I need to work on that um, but uh, this is another uh, affiliate program as well that you can sign up for with takeonetech.io slash epidemic uh, you can go and try it out for yourself and then sign up for their affiliate program so that you can get a referral commission as well and the last one, I promise, this isn't supposed to be a video full of ads, but the last one is Setup because there are loads of great apps for live streamers uh, specifically in Setup. So things like Trip Mode, for example, to uh, shut down all external uh, bandwidth uh, hogs <laughs> that may be running while you're doing your live stream. Uh, if you want to have the uh, activity monitor to be able to see what's going on, then you can have iStat menus as well running in your menu bar to make sure that nothing is uh, taking up too much of your uh, process processing power uh, and these are available with setup and setup is basically a collection of 200 plus apps that are really great little utility apps for the Mac uh, and you can try it out for yourself at takeonetech.io slash setup and it's basically like a little mini app store that sits on your computer and you can download or offload any of these apps as and when you feel like it and it's just $9.99 a month. And the way that the affiliate program works is if you take the free trial using my link and then you go on to sign up, you will get a free month and I will get a free month too. So it's win-win. <laughs> and so uh, although I don't actually get any sort of actual cash value from that in terms of uh, you know a payout I do consider it still obviously part of the way that I've monetized the channel because every month that I get free is a month that I've saved so that is saving me basically ten dollars every time somebody else signs up so those are basically the uh, the core affiliate programs that I had and other ways that I've uh, I've monetized the channel. Uh, and then obviously there has been also from the uh, the calls that I've had with people where I've been uh, uh, helping them with various different things. Then there has been some work that has come out of that as well. So if you want to know in total, 
The amount that has been made before monetization by YouTube in six and a half months was very neatly six and a half thousand dollars. So that does work out. Obviously, I don't need to do the maths hopefully for you, <laughs> but that does average out at a thousand dollars a month on average. Now, obviously, at the beginning when it was just me streaming to myself and nobody uh, listening, there wasn't much coming in then. Uh, and so the majority of that has been towards the back end of that uh, six and a half months. Uh, and if I was to look at the time that I've spent, it's certainly not necessarily uh, a great wage <laughs> from the amount of time and effort I've put in. And also, obviously, those uh, those things that I've done in terms of having calls with people, that has been an actual real extra cost of uh, of time and so on. So uh, there is that to bear in mind, but I just wanted to let you know that because what it has meant is that I have been able to achieve my goal of being essentially totally cost neutral, taking my time out of the equation, uh, being totally cost neutral with the channel. It's enabled me to upgrade several things. Uh, it would have enabled me to upgrade my camera, but I've still not been able to get my hands on a ZV E10. Uh, I kind of slept on it for a little bit and then uh, they sort of pulled the uh, the production of it. So uh, I'm trying to figure a way around that and I think I might have found a solution. But certainly you can see that, you know, the amount of things that I could have uh, purchased for the studio um, with that money, it, uh, it certainly goes a long way. And I was doing everything on a bit of a shoestring to begin with uh, because I just didn't want to uh, invest a whole load into the channel and I did want to have this process of showing that you can start with whatever you've got and then just sort of build it up as you go along. So I am still on my 10 year old Canon EOS 60D camera. Uh, the lights I've got are not the most expensive by any stretch. They were I think about $50 for two of them, just basic soft boxes. I'm going to be doing a proper full studio tour once I've uh, got everything set up. I've done a few already on my channel over Vlogmas, uh, so you could have seen what I've built out. Um, but uh, yes, once I've uh, got everything in place, you'll be able to see uh, how far the uh, the funds that have come before monetization have been able to stretch into improving the look of the, uh, of the, the studio space, basically. So that's all for this video, really. I just wanted to, uh, yeah, sort of show you what you can expect with monetization, but also really sort of drive home this point of you don't have to wait for the YouTube monetization and you can probably uh, make a lot more than the YouTube monetization in the beginning. In any case, if you've got something of value to offer and you've got some other ways outside of YouTube to monetize. So uh, just something to bear in mind. I would be remiss then, obviously, to not say <laughs> if you have found this useful, um, then don't forget to uh, hit the like and subscribe button. And also, if you found it extra useful, then there is always my Buy Me A Coffee page because that is one of the uh, sources of monetization for the channel as well. But until the next time, you don't need to go anywhere because I'm coming right up again with more great content <laughs> over on the right hand side. So I'll leave some other videos about uh, some of the other stuff that I do over there. So until then, have a great day.